I was just saying, Louis doesn't understand social distancing. So he goes up like wanting to cuddle everything and particularly any babies younger than him. What kind of resources did you use with yours? And are still using, obviously. Oh, well, I, don't, I, I think it's really hard. So much focus, particularly during you know, pregnancy and when you've just got a newborn baby, is on the physical development of your baby and you as a mother. Mm -hmm. um, but what I think is really missing and what I found was missing too was that um, was the support there and how to help their um, social and emotional development. You know, how do you interact with a newborn baby? What is it that you should be doing? Not perhaps with um, in the in the first few months, there's a huge amount of support from midwives and and um, health visitors and things. But from then onwards, you know, there's a massive gap before they then start school. Um, and it's that bit that I think you really need the support. Have you learned anything new from being part of Tiny Happy People that perhaps you didn't, didn't know before? You don't just need all these toys. You can just Hello, use Daddy. something simple like a Thank tree you. or, yeah. you know, Good a bit boy. of paper rolled up um, and just a pen to paper yeah. is the best way for them to learn. Yeah. That's what I find. And talking, because yeah. talking is free, isn't it? Speech is free yeah. and we don't use it enough, I don't think. So. I think the science also has shown how important relationships are and safe and nurturing environments are for children, particularly under five. And that's what really matters. Actually, it's not necessarily about the toys. It's not that the play six is an exciting place you go to them. It's actually how you as parents interact with them. Yeah. That's what really counts. Yeah. Oh dear. What is that? What is it? Can you say pasta? Yeah, I'm bathing. <gasps> <laughs> Can you say Princess Kate? Good. <laughs> you are so clever. Look at you, so many words. Uh, me and her mum actually broke up three months ago. Right. So it's like we've been single parent, like co-parenting. Yes, okay. But we get on really well. Do you think, um, particularly for first time dads, is it quite a daunting, daunting time? It's very scary. Because yeah. like with the midwives now, obviously the mum's getting more support. So I, yeah. I feel like the dads as such don't get as much support as they could. Yeah. But um, obviously the mums go through it all. So it's yeah. all the respect to the mothers.